Um, I thought some of you might want to um, kind of color up your 12-bar uh, blues playing on a tune like, um, oh, uh, Foggy Mountain Special. You can do that with some colorations of chords that I've posted uh, in earlier videos, uh, six, uh, you know, more colorful chord shapes for dominant chords. Because the blues, you know, and bluegrass is basically a lot of it is seven chords. Um, and um, anyway, here's uh, a 12 bar blues that could, and the changes of a 12 bar, bar blues that could be uh, part of a tune like Foggy Mountain Special. Um, that's, the, that's the name of the tune, right? I think it's Foggy Mountain Special. I'm sure you'll let me know if that's not right. Um, anyway, uh, in G, I've got um, a G13 and a C9, 2-5, and that's a G7 that's a, a G chord going to a C chord, but we're doing a tritone sub there. C, that's a 13, but it would be C9. And then a 2 5 C minor to F7 to a descending pattern G13 F sharp. Now, those are tritone subs. I won't explain the theory of it right now, but basically, you're going through a cycle. And then a 2, a two chord. And then a 5. But we're going to turn it into a tritone sub. And then one, six, two, five, and those again are tritone subs with alt chords in them, but that they're not necessarily. Um, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna explain the theory of it right now, but that's that's what they are. So instead of. So just a, a standard way to play that tune. You can play, and I'll, my whistling's terrible, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give you a sense of where I am in the song. A little slower. Let me try that one more time. I'm doing a sub there. It's just a way of spicing up your chords, and I'm just using, basically I'm using one shape of each of those chords, trying to keep it fairly simple. You can play that using uh, the six dominant shapes that I use. Here's G7, G13, 13, 9, 9, 9, 13, uh, uh, no.
iterations are uh, just really kind of snazz up some of the uh, swingier or jazzier tunes that you can do on five string banjo. And um, then one of the, some of the interesting things is if you figure out how to offset those chords by a tritone, and I'll just show you how to do how I do that really quickly if I can again if I can get through it. Um, it you you can use those to substitute for the five chord, giving it an, uh, what's called an alt flavor. So tritone sub really does color a chord like a uh, like a dominant alt chord. As an example, I'll start in my lowest position of a G7. Well, a tritone away is, and I'm thinking of, there's my, there's my tonic. And then the tritone is heading, headed for the, the four chord. So you get that sound in those two chord uh, combination. So that's one cool voicing of that. Let's go a voicing up, G13. So that's a tritone substitution there. That's uh, the one we just used in, in the 12 bar blues we just finished doing. Uh, next one up. That's another cool voicing for getting to the four chords. You've got G7. And then what it amounts to a D flat seven, which the, all of these are the tritone subs, half step above the chord you're headed towards. So that's a C seven there, C thirteen in this case. Uh, next one, another similar voicing, the similar voice on top, but a closer voicing here. to create an alt sound in the chord um, resolving to the four chord like we do a lot in, bl in bluegrass. And that's the first one we started off with an octave. Now, not to you know belabor this, but those are cool comping things that you can use, but what if I were to tell you that there are chord uh, chord scale relationships that go with each of those chords that allow you to be able to play um, improvisational jazzy melodies, sophisticated harmonic jazzy melodies that um, that I hear other people doing uh, that that correspond with those shapes. So you can see those chord shapes and the linear uh, things that go along with them, scales basically, that allow you to pick out notes of that and make the, the uh, melodies. I might do that one in a future um, future lesson here, but you know, starting off with the chords and being able to play through a tune like Foggy Mountain Special um, is uh, is kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to call off the chords to you: G13, C9, G13, then a two five, which is D minor seven or nine. I'm doing a sub, so that's D flat seven to C9 or 13 here, then a two five, C minor to F7. And then G13, F sharp 13, F13, E13, that's a cycle. And you figure it out for yourself if you want. Two chord, A minor 7, D7 alt, or D7 sharp 9, a lot of times you see it as, which is actually a, a, a flat 9 in this case. And then what I actually played was. cycles, which we use a lot in jazz for turnaround. Okay, anyway, that's enough for now. Have fun. Bye.